The battle over Civil War art at the Minnesota State Capitol is over. Governor Mark Dayton lost this round. The Minnesota Historical Society Board voted unanimously to keep six Civil War paintings in the governor's office once the Capitol restoration project is complete next year. As Esme Murphy shows us, the paintings depict the critical role Minnesotans played in key battles. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All the vote by the 30-member board was unanimous. The six works have been meticulously restored, revealing new details in the dramatic paintings of Minnesotans' heroics during key Civil War battles. Governor Mark Dayton's proposal to replace the paintings with art from other eras drew a furious response from the public and veterans groups. The board's vote got a thank you. The veterans service organizations say thank you very much. In fact, for us in the American Legion, part of our Constitution reads to preserve the memories of our associations in the great wars. The board did uphold the removal of other paintings, including two that have hung in the governor's reception area since the Capitol opened in 1905. Native American groups complained that Father Hennepin at St. Anthony Falls and the signing of the treaty at Traverse de Sioux were offensive. The paintings will be moved elsewhere in the capital and will be accompanied by additional exhibits to put them in their historic context. That drew praise from board member Kurt Blue Dog, an Army veteran and a Dakota tribal member. I was in support of moving them out, but as I said in the meeting, I think there's a place for them. They still can be very educational. Now, two other paintings that were not original to the Capitol and that the board considers as historically inaccurate depictions of Indians battling Minnesotans will be removed from the Capitol and put in storage. Governor Mark Dayton, who wanted all the paintings gone, said simply in a statement, it's their decision to make and I accept their decision. And any thoughts on what replaces those paintings that were in the reception area? Well, this is a very important area, Frank, and the board said that basically the search begins right now. They want to see works that are more inclusive and that will not offend anyone. Hmm. The Civil War paintings, you can tell they look better. Uh, it's really a dramatic. remarkable restoration. Um, they've been there for more than 100 years when people smoked in the rooms. Uh, really, these paintings are remarkable. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Esme.